Honorable Dr. Ganesh Sahasra Pude, Honorable Shri Pada Sir, Shri Chauhan Sir, Shri Adhikari and Mr. Soni. Good morning friends. We are extremely privileged to have people like Dr. Ganesh Sahasra Pude. I don't know how many of you know that one of the great intellectuals in this country we have who has been a prolific author also on the issues of public policy as diverse as subjects like Northeast and deep in the democracy etc. I welcome you all to this, this accessible India campaign prior to the I will start with a small story. Michael Ingero ka naam apna suna hoga. Have you heard of Michael Ingero? He was a great sculptor. Ek bahut bade muti ka thai. Ek baar kisi ne Michael Ingero se poochha ki tumhari haathon mein aisa kya jadu hai? So, what do you do to your statues? They look so lively. So, he said, what do you do to your statues? What do you do to your statues? They look so lively, full of life. Michael Andrew says, I don't make statues. I don't make statues. Every stone has a beautiful statue in it. I just remove the unnecessary stone out of that. Every stone has a beautiful statue in it. I just remove the unnecessary stone out of that. Why do I narrate the story here? I'll give you that. Details. Have you heard of this man called Mandage? So um, as a kid they were removed so I could get around better. So there's a couple things that, that I learned um, climbing. Uh, the first one was that sometimes you have to let go of control and let somebody else help you achieve your goals. But we get to almost the top and both my friends got massive altitude sickness to the point where they were both walking and throwing up, walking and throwing up. But when we got to um, the point where we were to start walking in the snow to get to the top, my buddies were so sick, I thought, oh man, this is like, you're never gonna make it. 
And to be very honest with you, it was, it was the first time in my entire life. Why do I narrate the story of Michael and Jero? Working as Joint Chief in Ministry of Social Justice, Department of Disability, we come across these people almost on a daily basis. They are full of courage, conviction, dedication and talent. Unfortunately, our society has not been able to bring out that unnecessary stone out of that unnecessary stone of that stone in each of them so that they can create a beautiful statue of it. That's why I narrate the story. Sir, is this my Janaganda Dhoja Gyanaya Ke Saab Se Do Rishin Do Che Aar Karo Reklam Gyanaya We have 2.68 crore 26.8 million persons with disability in this country as per the census 2011. Unfortunately, most of them do not have equal access to all the buildings, places, services because of obvious reasons and that's why because they, they are excluded from the main socio-cultural and economic mainstream of this country. Things like if you get into a building and it's a small series of stairs, etc., etc., so nice for so normal for us to just get over there, but it's so difficult that barrier for each of the persons with disability who's on a wheelchair. And that is why we have formulated a campaign called Accessible India Campaign. In Hindi, we call it Sogamya Bharat Abhiyam. I'll tell you the details of that. Accessibility we have divided into three parts. The first is the built up environment. Sogamya jo built environment ki hoti hai. All the buildings, whether it's a hospital, whether it's a school, college, office, government office, any, any building, it's a mall, theater, restaurant, they need to be accessible for persons with disability. And which means what? Which means you should have ramps, you should have accessible toilets, you should have accessible lifts, and so many other things. Braille signage for persons with visual impairment, proper railings, etc., etc. And for this, what we have done is, we, as a part of the campaign, we have selected 48 cities in this country. Artali Shahram Khamne Chuna is Deshme. And we have asked the state governments to give us a list of 100 buildings each in each of these 48 cities. So we have a list of 48 cities in which we will completely accessible. And this list is not to be provided only by the state government. We are seeking similar lists from NGOs and from people at large on a crowdsourcing basis. So once we have the list of buildings, we would get something called access audit and once the access audit is done we would get the buildings retrofitted for making them completely accessible so that's the first vertical making them accessible the second vertical is transport transport system is absolutely inaccessible in this country and when we talk of airports railway stations bus stops aircrafts trains buses they are absolutely inaccessible in this country take example of trains for the matter there is a separate compartment for handicapped people, but that compartment itself is inaccessible. Kisi niche admi ke liye us handicapped compartment mein ghusna ya uske toilet ko use karna is almost next to impossible. Take example of aircrafts. I think one of the few airlines which I have experienced is Indigo. Is mein ki aap wheelchair leke pura aircraft pe ja sakte hain. Otherwise, if there is no air bridge, you cannot. If you are a wheelchair person, you cannot climb to the aircraft without air bridge. Buses, I think, or trains. Except, I was giving example, except metros probably we do not have any train which is accessible. Buses, almost all public private buses in this country do not have a lower floor or a ramp concept. So this transport system is absolutely inaccessible. For a visually impaired person, it's next to impossible to get into a bus. They are absolutely inaccessible in that sense. And we are working on that. Our uh, people with IIT Delhi, they have devised a thing called on, on board. Which for a, a visually impaired person, for a blind person, that that device would make it much easier for him to get into this. I would not go into the details of this. The third vertical we are talking about is the information communication technology. Our information communication technology is accessible. Not many people know that websites need to be made accessible. For a blind person, he cannot work on his software unless the website is something called W3C compliant. I don't know how many of you have heard the concept of W3C compliance. Jab tak humari websites mein accessibility nahi hogi. Yadi aapka koi document PDF format mein hai ya JPEG format mein hai, a blind person cannot read that. Television, take example of television program. In this country, most of the television programs are not accessible. And what do we mean by television accessibility? Koi program yadi hai, so, I will click on the menu and click on the menu. For a blind person, unless that menu speaks out. So, there is a thing called text to speech conversion. 
जब तक वो टेक्स्ट स्पीच में कन्वर्ट नहीं होगा तब तक एक ब्लाइंड पर्सन उसको मेनू को ही एक्सेस नहीं कर सकता सेकेंड चीज देर इज थिंग कॉल ऑडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट एवर इज है टीवी स्क्रीन ए ब्लाइंड पर्सन कांट सी अनलेस somebody in the on the screen describes what is happening yadi koi villain aur hero ki ladai ho rahi hai to somebody has to describe this then then only the blind person can follow what is happening for a deaf person it means captioning because he can't understand what is being spoken so for a deaf person it has to be cup continuous captioning so none of these three things text to speech conversion audio description and captioning are available in all our video programs whether it's a whether it's a news program whether it's a entertainment program and this is so important so these are the three kind of things and for all of these verticals we have devised some defined timelines which are given in the paper we have distributed to you the strategy paper of sagam bharat for example 48 100 buildings the 48 cities and 100 buildings we have selected that all international airports would be made accessible in this financial year only till july 2016 we want to make all international airports of this country accessible we would get access audit conducted and then do the retrofitting with the help of ministry of civil aviation we have contacted the ministry of railways and they have the three four classification of railways so a1 type railway stations which are 75 in number they are big railway stations they would be made accessible this year only all railway stations then come to public transport 25% of public transport are owned by either government of india or state government need to be made accessible by july 2016 this is our target we have selected 6000 citizen centric websites across country by the government of india state government passport ho gaya railway ho gaya land record birth certificate these are citizen centric websites jisme ki aapko mere ko har roz jana padta hai kuch download karne ke liye and unless this website is downloadable for a blind person this is not accessible so out of these 6000 websites we have selected 3000 websites to be converted into fully accessible websites by the end of july 2016 and this is much easier as compared to buildings because web audit of a website is much easier and even the retro doing of the website is much easier as compared to building so these are big numbers 4800 buildings 75 railway stations all international airports 25% of public transport 3000 websites big numbers are like big dreams and big dreams evoke two kind of responses one response is this is not possible cannot be done the other response is yes this is possible and can be done we in our department have adopted the second approach we would do it you must have heard of that if there is a big dream god when he gives a big dream he gives the heavenly resources to fulfill the dreams also hindi mein kaha hota hai ki yadi aap koi cheez dil se chahe तो पूरी कयामत पूरी कायनात इस बात का प्रयास करती है कि वो चीज आपको मिल जाए सो वी आर हैप्पी दैट पीपल आर गेटिंग एसोसिएट विद दस एंड हियर कम्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सी एस आर वी रियली नीड इन दिस कैंपेन सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन वी नीड सपोर्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स टू कन्वर्ट देयर बिल्डिंग्स एंड देयर ऑफिस एक्सेसिबल ऑफिस वी नीड सपोर्ट ऑफ एनजीओ टू पुश थ्रो बैंडेड वी नीड सपोर्ट ऑफ एकेडमिक्स टू ब्रिंग आउट सम टेक्नोलॉजिकल ब्रेक थ्रोस फॉर ब्रिंगिंग सोल्यूशन ऑफ एक्सेबिलिटी and the biggest support can, can come from csr csr as mr johan has expressed now after the companies act 2013 we are talking about a money called 2% of total profits and you know kitna paisa csr mein ghum raha hai pwc ke estimate ke hisab se this has to be 4.5 billion billion dollars 25000 crore rupees in this country coming out of csr funds and if we really spend this money in a strategic non fragmented planned way then we can really solve some three four important problems this country let us not filter away this money in small things ke main aapke paas gaya to aapne kuch mujhe de diya aapke paas koi dusri ngo ke usne de diya let us plan that this country has some five six big problems let us solve these problems by the csr money we'll solve these problems in this year next two three problems in this next year and csr can really change the whole game and as mr chohan was also saying we don't you we don't really only want money the corporate sector has something called the business expertise is desh mein bhi dichotomy ho rahi hai jo passion of dedication hai hamare ngos ke paas mein our department works with so many ngos and you can't match that passion and dedication but unfortunately they do not have that business enterprise and the business sense and the business expertise they are not engineers they are not doctors they are not managers they are not mbas here we want it's not only csr money we want some social impact enterprises we want some 
social impact funding so that that can change the whole game of of changing the whole thing so i really want a lot of support from csr on this accessible india campaign and the biggest thing and the last thing i would like to say is it's for barriers it is ultimately the mental barrier you have to talk about accessibility in terms of not physical barriers but the mental barrier and i just narrate a small story uh, madam levitsky ka naam aapne suna hoga madam levitsky jab kahin jaati thi to unke haath mein ek thaila hota tha ek bag usse kuch nikalti thi aur kuch factory chali jaati thi kisi ne usse pucha ki aap kya karti hain madam levitsky ne kaha ki main hamesha kuch phoolon ke beej apne saath leke chalti hu kuch bikha deti hu unme se kuch shayad kuch phool ban jaye hoge us na baat to puchne wale ne kaha ki इन रास्तों पे पता नहीं कितने साल बाद आप आएंगे आएंगे भी नहीं आएंगे क्या फायदा आपके फूलों को बिखराने का मैडम लेवर्सकी से मैं जिन रास्तों से गुजर रही हूँ उन पर कुछ फूल पैदा हो गए हैं पता नहीं किसने फूल के बीज बिखाए थे मैं भी इसी तरह से कुछ ऐसे बीज बिखरा देना चाहती हूँ जिससे कि पता नहीं कब कौन कुछ सालों बाद आए तो वो प्रयास उनको करना होगा इसी ऐसा बनी का हो सकता है आप अपनी लाइफ टाइम में उसका जवाब न देख पाए बट समी एट सम एंड वुड सी देख लास्ट पॉइंट वेन वी एंटर अवर सर्विसेज वी गो टू मसूरी and masuri bendi masuri is almost all of you have seen masuri there is a concept of eco point bahariyo ke beech mein ek pratidhvani bhi hota hai jab aap jaate hain wahan pe to humne bhi suna tha eco point ka concept to hum log jab admission liye wahan pe 1989 mein apne friends ke sath chale ja rahe the hamare ek friend ne kaha chalo try karte hain eco point likha hua hai is pe pratidhvani bindu hota kya hai to he started with a barking noise kutte ki awaaz usne nikalna chalu ki wo sari masuri ki wadiyan kutton ki awaaz se bhar uthi मैंने उससे कहा तुम तो गाते भी अच्छा हो गा के सुनाते को नहीं ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग एंड कुछ ही देर में सारी मसूरी की वादियां ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग से भर उठी फ्रेंड्स मुझे लगता है जिंदगी एक इको पॉइंट लाइफ इज एको पॉइंट वॉट एवर वी गिव इट इट कम्स बैक टू अर्सन मल्टी फोल्ड बेट कोशिश करें हम लोग अपने सीसा के फॉर्म में कुछ ऐसा दे जाए जो हो सकता है आज नहीं कल मल्टी फोल्ड होके हमें मिले हमें न मिले तो हमारी नेक्स्ट जनरेशन को मिले थैंक यू सो मच एंड प्लीज